Introducing the all new Corolla. GOP objections in committee last December have now been answered. The nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, the gold standard for estimating bill costs, says long sought Guam war claims will cost the federal government nothing. A point Congresswoman Madeleine Bordaglio has been arguing for a long time. It helps to justify the fiscal conservatives here in Congress that my compromise proposal will not have an effect on the federal government's direct spending. So I do hope that CBO score addresses their concerns so that we can move war claims forward. The Energy and Natural Resources Committee reported the Omnibus Territories Act to the full Senate, but not before four Republicans voted no, preventing the bill from winning unanimous consent on the Senate floor. The bill also has a key provision by CNMI Congressman Greg Khalili Sablon to extend the transitional Commonwealth-only worker program five years through 2019. As the program's deadline draws near and Labor Secretary Perez has not yet issued his own decision. But the Congressional Budget Office does have a problem with another bill provision, increasing from $200,000 to $500,000 the waiver of local matching for federal grants for Dalio. Now, given the budget environment of the federal government, any increases to spending is difficult to move in Congress today. So I will work again with my fellow delegates from the territories to determine the best way forward for this uh, provision. But the bill may not move in the House until the Senate passes it. Congressman Sablon says House Natural Resources Chair Doc Hastings doesn't like omnibus bills, but may be open to considering this one if the Senate passes it first. Separately, Interior's Office of Insular Affairs has a new acting assistant secretary, while the Senate, in a partisan spat over filibuster rules, slow walks nominations, including that of Guam-born Esther Kiaina. Bordalio calls it a disservice to the country and the islands. An acting assistant secretary just doesn't react or act on things that a permanent secretary would. So. I appreciate that Secretary Jewell has appointed Lori Faith as the new acting assistant secretary. I know Mrs. Faith is hardworking and a capable public servant, but the challenges facing the territories require the attention and leadership of a full-time permanent assistant secretary. Lori Faith is Interior Deputy Assistant Secretary for Policy and International Affairs and fills a post also held earlier on an interim basis by Fish and Wildlife official Eileen Sobeck. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.